Four years later, today we remember the victims of the mass shooting at the Capitol Gazette in Annapolis. Hello, I'm Lynn Bowie. And I'm Sina Gebra Ab. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore or on WJZ TV. It is hard to believe that four years have gone by since that horrific day at the newspaper. And we continue to pay tribute to those who lost their lives. WJZ is live in Annapolis at the Guardians of the First Amendment Memorial. Paul Gessler with the ceremony held there today. Paul, very somber. Yeah, multiple ceremonies this morning. This wreath was laid in the middle of this Guardians of the First Amendment Memorial earlier this morning, and flowers rest at the bottom of these pillars here, representing the five Capital Gazette employees killed June 28, 2018. Dozens filled the memorial site along Compromise Street in Annapolis. We gather together to remember Rebecca Smith, Wendy Winters, Rob Hyacin, Gerald Fishman, and John McNamara. Four years have passed. Every year does get a little easier. June 28th is Maria Hyacinth's birthday. Her husband Rob killed June 28th, 2018. And now this is what this is about. This is the tradition. And it, there are tears, um, but there is also a batch of happy memories for, for this lovely spot. The Guardian's memorial dedicated this day last year. This day in 2018, a gunman forced his way into the Capitol Gazette office building, opening fire and killing five staffers. It's the largest mass shooting of journalists in the nation's history. When you see all these cameras lined up, it reminds you of the day, you know, where it's something I'd never really seen before in my life. The tragedy that happened uh, in our town that we never thought could happen to us. Well, it, it can happen anywhere. Tuesday, art is unveiled at City Hall, honoring the five victims as Annapolis continues to mark that dark day. This was one of his favorite areas, so they could not have picked a better spot as far as he is concerned. Back live now. Few words this morning at the ceremonies, but there was a moment of silence and a lot of hugs and tears shared as well. We are told only three Capital Gazette employees remain from that staff in 2018. In September, here in an Annapolis courtroom just up the street here, the gunman in this case was sentenced to five life sentences for his role in this attack. We're live at noon this hour. I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.